great. So we're going to pretty much flow for about an hour. And of course, I'll build in time at the end for resting. It might be that you choose to keep resting um, kind of as I end the meeting. And I would encourage you to take as much time as you can at the end for that. Um, so let's go ahead and start just sitting up nice and tall. You might um, close your eyes. You might take a soft gaze with your eyes. Just taking a moment to connect and notice your breath. So you might just start breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth a time or two. And kind of just shedding a little bit of that surface level tension if it's even there for you right now, just kind of grounding here with a few breaths. Mm -hmm. At some point, you might switch and begin breathing in and out through your nose. And as you breathe in and out through your nose, you could sense or feel with that breath a little bit of a constriction in the back of the throat, and then really just noticing the sound, the sensation, and the movement of that breath. So that's a really um, great place to start just arriving right here, noticing what it feels like to be here right now. So I want to invite you to also take a moment um, for intention. And increasingly to me, I feel like just the gesture of opening up space to sense if there is an intention is really a mindful and heartful gesture. So it's okay if you don't know what the intention is or what your intention, your motivation is. It's really just taking that moment to check in and doing that in and of itself is really a way of offering mindfulness to yourself, really sensing where you are, who you are in this moment. And also it's really an offering of heartfulness, um, which is a, a sense of taking care of yourself. So fundamentally intention becomes uh, to care for yourself and to know yourself in these moments. So I just want to try to remind you to come back to that again and again as we practice. So you might just take a few breaths if that resonates for you in any way, just settling in with that. May I really know myself and uh, care for myself in these moments. So with that intention, um, to me, like an embodied expression of that is kind of this deep sense of grounding and really connecting deeply to the midline. The kind of refined quality of mindfulness inside. And then also from that space of being grounded to the midline, this sense of expansion to the periphery, really that expression of heartfulness, really wide open, spacious balance. And so I'll try to remind you again and again in every pose and every movement to come back to that sense of deeply connecting to midline and then expanding, softening, getting a little bit more open to the periphery. So with your next few breaths, let's just bow our heads. And um, if your eyes were closed, you might let your eyes open for a moment. And then we're going to lie down on our backs. So just take time to roll down onto your back. You might choose to have your feet on the floor and your knees bent. Maybe rest your hands on your belly or have your arms at your sides, whatever feels comfortable. And I'd like us to start with feet about hip distance apart and thighs and shins are all parallel. Mm -hmm. And so just deepening that breath right here. And again, as we're breathing and coming back again and again to intention, um, just really sensing with your breath, especially on the exhalation, a drawing in below the navel, and maybe even a sense of knitting together the pubic bone, tailbone, sitting bone. So really starting to cultivate that deep sense of grounding and containment to the midline. So you maintain that lifting and toning, from the pelvic floor, drawing in below the navel, and then 
breathing fully into the ribs and chest. Good. From here, let's just lift the feet so that the shins are parallel to the floor and the knees are up over the hips. And just feel again into that quality of pubic bone, tailbone, sitting bones knitting together, drawing in below the navel without constricting the breath in any way. Actually let that quality of grounding be a natural quality of your breath. And then you could reach your arms overhead, inhale. And as you exhale, lift palms together and reach next to your right leg. And then inhale, lie back down, let the arms reach away from the legs. And exhale, draw the belly down, lift and reach to the left. So kind of a twist, pulse here. Inhale, lie down, arms reach away. Exhale, lift and reach to the right. Again, inhale, lie down, arms reach away. See if you can keep the belly contained as you lift and reach to the left. Let's do one more time on each side. Inhale, lie down. Exhale, lift and reach to the right. Good, inhale, lie down again. One more time, lift and reach to the left. Good, let's lie down, inhale, and touch the feet to the floor, exhale. Maybe walk your feet a little bit wider than your hips, touch your knees together, and just pause for a moment. Take a breath in and a breath out. Let these breaths just be an invitation to soften, to be supported, that dense, grounded quality of the earth underneath you. And then we're going to bring the feet a little bit closer together again, just about hip distance apart. Arms can be overhead, they can be on the floor next to you, whatever's comfortable. Inhale, lift your hips up into bridge position. So even as you lift into bridge, if you could feel or imagine that sense of grounding to the midline, really knitting together pubic bone, tailbone, sitting bones, drawing in below the navel. And then as there is that contraction to the midline, sensing some expansion to the periphery, a little bit more space to lift up, a little bit more softness in the head and shoulders. Take another inhale. And then exhale, let the hips lower down. We're going to do that two more times with an option to add something in. So as you inhale, lift back up keeping that containment to the midline and then really letting that containment create the possibility to soften, to be a little sweeter. You can stay right here or press your left foot into the floor, lift your right leg straight up. Use your left leg, use the strength of your left leg, reach the right leg up, maybe lift a little higher, inhale. And then bring the right foot down and the hips down, exhale. Let's do the same thing, other side. Inhale, lift the hips up. Ground the right heel, lift the left leg if you wish. So again, this is an optional thing you can add. Use your right leg, use your right glute to support you. Draw in below the navel and then get a little more spacious with your breath. Take another inhale. And then foot down, hips down, exhale. Take a moment, just pause right here. Right, so when we come back to intention, really what that is, is it's an opportunity to convey the message of intention. It's a mindful, heartful message, just sensing that if it's possible for you. Let's take the feet a little wider than the hips, turn the toes away from each other. Right hand on belly, left arm overhead. Tip the knees to the right, like as if they're windshield wipers. Tipping the knees to the right, lengthening the left arm away from the left knee, and just take a couple of breaths, opening up that left side right here. Let your head and shoulders be soft and heavy. Take another breath, inhale. One more, exhale. Good, inhale, come back to center. Right hand, or left hand to belly, right arm overhead, other side, same thing. Tip the knees to the left. Reach the right arm away from the right knee. Take a full breath. Inhale and exhale right here, softening the head and shoulders. One more exhale here. And then come back to the center as you inhale. 
Good, let's hug the knees into the chest. Just hug the knees in. You might rock a little bit side to side or front and back. And then we're gonna come up and onto our hands and knees. So come up and whatever way works for you, just come onto your hands and knees. If you wanna put a towel or a blanket under your knees, just take a moment for that. So hands and knees on the ground, you might like to move your hips a little bit side to side, just feel into the hands and knees grounding you. So again, in these simple moments, really taking an opportunity to go, taking that opportunity to go a little deeper to the belly. So as you're just in tabletop, if you can feel or imagine the space of your pubic bone, tailbone, sitting bones knitting together and lifting up, drawing in below the navel, right? Just feeling into that, especially on the exhale, but also on the inhale. Good, let's inhale, arch our back and look up, breathing in. Exhale, curling, bowing, rounding the back, tucking the tail. Repeat that two more times. Inhale, rolling shoulders back, looking up, arching the back. Exhale, curling, bowing, rounding the back. Again, one more time. Inhale, arching, looking up, lengthening the front. And then exhale, just back into neutral. Let's place our forearms to the floor and step into forearm plank. So step your feet back into forearm plank, grounding into your elbows. So right away, can you find the midline? Pubic bone, tailbone, sitting bones knit together, draw in below the navel. If you can imagine pushing your elbows and toes away from each other, stretching your yoga mat long, lengthening, can there be that sense of expansion to the periphery as you ground to the midline. One more, inhale. Exhale, just lower the hips down. Untuck the toes, sphinx pose. So reach back through the legs, hug the legs together, draw in below the navel. And then press into the elbows and broaden the collarbones. Let's take a full spacious inhale here. And then exhale, just lowering down, resting, softening. Right, so the message of your intention, even if the, there's some specific details to the intention that are different than this, the message is really mindful and heartful to know yourself, to care for yourself in these moments. Take a moment to sense into that as you exhale. Let's come back into forearm plank again. So we're gonna have an option to add each, and add something on each of these. So let's lift back up into forearm plank. You can stay right here with both legs on, both toes on the ground, or you can lift your right leg and hover the leg any amount. See if you can lift your inner thighs, draw in below your navel. Could there be some expansion, some length? One more inhale. And then if the toes are lifted, bring them down, lower the hips, exhale. Into Sphinx Pose again, hug the legs together, press the tops of the feet down, lift below the navel and broaden the collarbones. Take another inhale. And then exhale, lower down. Two breaths, just resting. Breathe in and out through the nose if possible. Another full exhale, let it be sweet and spacious. One more time, forearm plank. Come back up, lift up. And just explore it a little bit. See if it's possible to bring that really refined and grounding quality of mindfulness, that deep sense of contraction to the midline, combined with a sense of spaciousness, expanding, lengthening to the periphery. You might choose to lift your left toes and hover any height. Take another breath, get longer as you inhale, and then toes down, hips down, exhale. One more time, Sphinx Pose, hug the legs, reach back, draw in below navel. If you'd like, you could press into your hands, lift your elbows, and broaden the chest, lifting up a little high. Take another full breath, inhale here, and then exhale, lower all the way down from wherever you are, just two breaths resting. As you rest, really feel that dense, supportive quality of the earth just soften and 
sink into it for a moment. From here, let's rise either into tabletop or high plank, and then either child's pose or downward facing dog. Okay, so you might choose to just come up onto your hands and knees and sit into child's pose for a moment. You might choose to come into downward facing dog for a moment. Wherever you are, take a full breath in and a full breath out. If you're in downward facing dog, you might be pedaling your feet. You might be bending your knees and straightening your legs, just exploring what it feels like to be here. So really sensing what your experience is, who you are in this moment, and then softening, offering care and nourishment to yourself as you breathe. Let's take another full breath. If you're in child's pose, you might make your way into downward facing dog. And then we're just gonna walk our feet to our hands. So walking the feet to the hands, knees can be bent any amount. Just take a refreshing breath in and lengthen a little bit. And then exhale, bow all the way down over the legs. So I like to have my feet all the way together here. You might choose to have them hip distance apart. Let's stand all the way up. So stand up, lift the arms overhead and lift the gaze. And then just bring the arms down as you exhale. So right here, you're just standing at the top of your mat. So again, I like to have my feet very close together, but totally fine if you wanna have your feet a little wider apart. Take time to experiment with that. Let's just feel down into the feet for a moment. So it might be shifting a little bit front to back, just feeling it, and then hugging the legs together a little bit. Hugging the legs together, finding your breath in and out through the nose. Again, same thing, pubic bone, tailbone, sitting bones, knit together and lift up. Draw in below the navel. You might find you stand a little taller. So that grounding to the midline, expansion to the periphery. As you inhale, lift the arms and look up. And as you exhale, bow over your legs. You can bend your knees any amount. Just come halfway up as you breathe in, lengthen your spine. Exhale, fingertips to the floor, step your right foot back. So just the right foot stepping back. Inhale, sink the hips forward, lift the chest, look up. Exhale, squeeze the legs together, curl and bow your head to your left knee. Let's do that again. Inhale, it's kind of like cat-cow, sinking forward, expanding the chest, looking up. Exhale, squeezing the legs, drawing in below the navel, bowing the head. One more time, sinking, lengthening, looking up, inhale. This time, as you exhale, palms down, step the left foot back, either one-legged plank or regular plank. Inhale here, maybe chaturanga, exhale. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Full deep breath here. So anytime you can substitute child's pose for dog pose. Just breathing here. See if you can really connect with your breath in that way that is steady and sweet, that is mindful and heartful. Rounding to the midline, expanding to the periphery. And then let's press, lift, and reach that right leg up and back, inhale. Pull the right foot forward, place it between the hands, exhale, up on the left toes. Inhale, sink the hips and lengthen. Exhale, squeeze the legs, curl and bow the head. Inhale again, lengthening, sinking the hips forward, lifting the chest. Exhale, squeezing together, curling and bowing. One more time, just a lengthening breath as you inhale. And then step the left foot forward and fold over the legs, exhale. Just come halfway up as you breathe in. Bow all the way down as you breathe out. Heavy head. Stand up, lift the arms, look up, inhale. And then just bring your arms down, exhale. We're going to repeat the same thing one more time. Inhale, reach up, look up, get really long through the midline. 
Exhale, bow over the legs. So belly lifts up as you bow down. Belly lengthens as you inhale, hug the legs together. Fingertips down, step the right foot back, or the left foot back, exhale. Inhale, so left foot is back, right foot is forward. Inhale, sink and lengthen. Exhale, squeeze the legs, curling, bowing the head to the knee. Inhale, sink and lengthen again. Exhale, squeeze together, scoop the belly, bow the head to the right knee. One more time, just that lengthening breath, inhale. And then hands to the floor, exhale, push the right foot back into one-legged plank. Take an inhale here. Exhale could be chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Could be child's pose, somewhere that you can breathe and connect for a moment. Connect for a moment and really convey intention here, even if it's something completely different than what I've mentioned. Just sensing mindfully, heartfully, right here in this moment. Let's take the left leg, inhale, reach it up and back. Exhale, bring the left foot forward between the hands, up onto the right toes. Inhale, sink the hips and lengthen. Exhale, squeeze and curl and bow the head to the knee. Inhale again, sink the hips forward, lengthen, expand. Exhale, squeeze together, curl and bow the head to the knee. One more breath, just sinking and lengthening, broadening the collarbones. And then exhale, step the right foot forward and fold over the legs. Just come halfway up as you inhale. Bow all the way down. So as you bow, lift the belly deeply, bow the head all the way. Hug the legs together as you inhale and stand all the way up, lift the arms and the head. And then just bring the arms down as you exhale. We're gonna do one more round of Sun Salutation A. So as you inhale, lift the arms and look up. Exhale, bow over the legs. Inhale, come halfway up. Exhale, you can step into high plank or chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good. Take a full deep breath in and out and downward dog. Take those breaths to really connect. Find that lifting below the navel, lifting from the pelvic floor together here. One more exhale. Then we're gonna bring the right shin forward, the left shin forward, and bring your bottom down onto your mat so that you can come into Navasana right here. Okay, you can have your knees bent or your legs straight. Ah, take an inhale here. Exhale, pull your right elbow back and look over your right shoulder. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale to the other side. Look over the left shoulder. Inhale, back to center. Exhale to the right again. Inhale, center. Exhale to the left again. Good. Inhale, center. One more breath. When you exhale, fold your legs, pull your knees to your shoulders. Inhale, palms to the floor, maybe you lift your bottom up, and then exhale, you can step or jump back to chaturanga, upward dog, and then downward facing dog. Take a moment. Inhale and exhale. Good, let's bring the feet to the hands and come halfway up as we breathe in. Bow all the way down as you breathe out. Stand up, lift the arms, hug the legs in, get taller as you inhale. And then just bring your arms down, exhale. We're gonna do a few variations of Sun Salutation B. We're gonna do three rounds, okay? Let's just take our time. So as you inhale, bend your knees, lift your arms into Utkatasana, chair pose. Exhale, bow over the legs all the way down. Inhale, just lengthen and look up. Exhale, step into high plank or chaturanga. 
Inhale into upward facing dog. Exhale into downward facing dog. We're gonna take the right leg, reach it up and back as you inhale. And then exhale, step the right foot between the hands, come up onto the left toes as you exhale. We're gonna climb and rise into a high lunge as you inhale. So you can always keep your hands on your right thigh for a little more support, or you can lift your arms overhead. From here, the right arm is gonna drop down, lengthen the left arm up, reach back into the left leg, and then exhale, lean to the right. A little bit lean to the right. Take another exhale, opening that left side. And then inhale, lift the left arm, maybe look up. Exhale, bring the hands down. You can step right into downward dog, or you can vinyasa to downward facing. Let's inhale, lift the left leg up and back. Exhale, step the left foot between the hands, up on the right toes. Inhale, rise all the way up. So again, it could be hands on the forward thigh. It could be arms lifting up. Grounding to the midline, knitting together pubic bone, tailbone, sitting bones, drawing in below the navel, get longer. Exhale, drop the left arm. Reach up through the right arm, move, reach back through the right leg, and then lean to the left a little bit. Take another full exhale here. Inhale, lift the left arm up. Exhale, bring the hands down. Again, option to step right into downward dog or vinyasa to downward facing dog, your choice. All the way up and back as you exhale. Full cycle of breath here. Could be downward dog, could be child's pose. Just take a moment to reconnect. Find that connection to midline and then start to feel, sense a little bit more sweetness, spaciousness expanding from there. Bring the feet to the hands and inhale, lengthening, coming halfway up. Exhale, bowing all the way over the legs. Deep lift to the belly. Inhale, bend the knees, lift the arms, look up, Utkatasana, chair pose. Exhale, back into standing. We'll begin the same way. Inhale, bend the knees, lift the arms and look up. Exhale, bow forward over the legs. Inhale, just draw the belly in, lengthen it forward, lengthen, look up. Exhale, could be high plank or chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, reach the right leg up and back. And then exhale, bring the right foot forward between the hands. So we're coming into that high lunge again. So as you inhale, see if you can rise up and reach. This time, an open twist. Pulse. So as you exhale, right arm back, left arm forward, look to the right. Inhale, arms back, up and overhead. Exhale, turn to the right again, look over the right shoulder. Inhale, come back to center. One more time, exhale, opening to the right, twisting, arms outstretched. Take a breath, draw in below navel, lengthen one more exhale. Inhale, lift the arms overhead, look up. Exhale, hands down. Again, you have the option. Could go right into downward dog or vinyasa to downward facing. Just take your time. Inhale and exhale. Right, just one full cycle of breath can be a really mindful, heartful gesture. Let's take the left leg, inhale, reach it up and back. Exhale, bring the left foot forward between the hands up on the right toes. Again, inhale, stand all the way up. And then exhale that open twist to the left, turning to the left. Inhale, arms lift. Exhale, open to the left again. Inhale, arms lift. Exhale, open to the left. Good, so find that lift below the navel, 
reach through the arms, maybe look over the left shoulder, one more exhale, and then inhale, lift the arms, maybe look up. Good. Exhale, hands down. Again, you have the option. It could be vinyasa or just stepping to downward facing dog. Full, deep, spacious breath wherever you go. Inhale and exhale. See if you can really find some heaviness, softness to your head, some lightness, some deep sense of lifting to the belly. One more full exhale. Feet to the hands and lengthen as you inhale. Exhale, bow all the way down over the legs. Bend your knees, lift your arms, inhale into Utkatasana. And then exhale back into standing. Awesome. One more variation of Sun Salutation B. Let's start again with Utkatasana. Bend the knees, lift the arms, inhale. Exhale, bow over the legs. Find your rhythm here. Inhale, come halfway up. Exhale, step back. Again, it could be plank or chaturanga. Then into upward facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Right foot reaches up and back as you inhale. And then pull that right foot forward between the hands. This time, drop the left foot 45 degrees. Inhale, stand all the way up into warrior one. Warrior one, reaching up. This time, as you exhale, the left hand comes to the floor. And the right foot is going to step back into side plank. Lift the right arm. You can stay right here. Or exhale, drop the hips and follow with the arm. Inhale, lift and reach up and overhead. Exhale, drop and follow with the arm. Inhale, lift and reach, get long. One more time, exhale, dropping, lowering with the arm. Inhale, reaching up and overhead. And then exhale, either right back to downward dog or chaturanga, up dog, down dog. A full breath just to really reconnect. And then let's inhale, lift the left leg up and back. Exhale, pull the left foot forward between the hands. Drop the right foot. Inhale, rise all the way up into that warrior one. And then exhale, bring the right hand down. Step the left foot back. Side plank right here. Lift the left arm. You can stay right here. Or exhale, drop and follow with the arm. Inhale, lift and reach. <laughs> Exhale, drop down. Inhale, lift and reach. One more time, exhale. Inhale, lift, reach overhead with the left arm. Exhale, back to downward facing dog or vinyasa to downward facing dog. Maybe child's pose. Full breath in, full breath out. Let's take one more full exhale here. Bring feet to the hands, come halfway up, take that breath, hug the legs in, lengthen the belly, look up. Draw the belly in deeply as you bow over your legs. We're gonna come into Utkatasana and hold it. So bend the knees, lift the arms, inhale, Utkatasana. Let's bring palms in to the center chest as you exhale. So Hugging the legs in, drawing in below the navel. Let that be a way of really grounding yourself here. Grounding to the midline, expanding to the periphery. Let's outstretch the arms straight in front of you with the palms touching. Inhale, and then turn to the right and tap your left forearm to your right thigh. And see. Inhale, come back through the center, arms reach forward. Exhale, turn and tap to the left. Inhale, back through center. Exhale, turning, tapping to the right. Inhale, back through the center, drawing in below the navel. Exhale, turn and tap to the left. Good. Come back to center, inhale, and then just bow over your legs. Exhale. Grab your opposite elbows, 
Take a full breath. See if you can let your head be heavy for a moment. Inhale and exhale. Good. Let's release the arms and rise all the way up. Inhale. And just bring the arms down. Exhale. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna step the right foot out and turn to face the side of your mat. So I'm gonna turn to face you, arms outstretched. So wide um, legged standing position. Exhale, bring hands together behind the back. Press into the feet, broaden the collarbones, look up, inhale, just get really spacious here. Exhale, bow forward over your legs. So just bow forward, let the arms move however much they wanna move. Find the strength of your legs grounding you, and then let that support a sense of lifting below the navel, knitting together the pubic bone, tailbone sitting. Full, deep, spacious breathing. Let's take one more exhale. Inhale, stand all the way up. Let the arms reach wide. Exhale, just bring hands to your hips. Just take a breath right here. Inhale, stand up tall. And then exhale, just turn your feet so the heels are in and the toes are out. Take another big breath into your feet and then exhale, bend your knees and slide your hands down your thighs so that your hands are just above your knees. Arms can be straight, shoulders shrug to the ears. Draw in below the navel here. Take an inhale. Exhale, drop the right shoulder. Look over the left shoulder. Deeply lifting below the navel here. One more exhale. Inhale back to center. And exhale to the other side. Another full breath. Good. Inhale back to center. Exhale, pause. And then inhale, rise all the way up. And exhale, step back to the top of your mat. Good, let's take an inhale, lift the arms and look up. Exhale, bow forward over the legs. Inhale, lengthen and look up. Exhale, step back, could be chaturanga or plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's take the right leg, reach it up and back as you breathe in, and then bend the knee, roll the hip open as you breathe out. So really rolling it open, drawing the front ribs in, lifting below the navel, getting really spacious here. As you inhale, stretch that right leg up and back. As you exhale, bring the right foot forward between the hands, drop the left foot 45 degrees. Inhale, rise all the way up to warrior two. Okay, so you're in warrior two with the right leg in front. Let's inhale, push into the right leg, straighten it, lift the arms and look up. Exhale, sink into the right knee, arms outstretched, maybe gaze to the right fingertips. Again, drawing in below navel, inhale, lengthen and look up. Exhale, sink back into warrior two. Again, inhale, lift up. Exhale, sink back in. Let's stay here. Feel into your feet. Knit together pubic bone, tailbone, sitting bones. Draw in below navel, reach through the arms. As you exhale, either right forearm to thigh or right palm to the floor, and inhale, left arm overhead. So extended side angle pose. Lengthen through the left side, through the whole uh, arm, the whole leg, the fingertips. As you exhale, just sweep that arm back along your side, reaching towards your left knee. Inhale, sweep and reach alongside, lengthening through the arm overhead. Exhale, sweeping back, drawing in below the navel. Again, inhale, reaching overhead. Stay right here again, exhale. Inhale one more time. So you have two options. Exhale, left hand comes down, roll up onto the left toes, you either take a low lunge twist, lifting your right arm and looking up, or you can step your right foot back and come into side plank again. Any variation of side plank that you like, or 
Again, it's the low lunge twist. Take another full breath, inhale, and then exhale, either downward dog or chaturanga, up dog, and then down dog. Take a full One more time on the other side. Inhale, lift the left leg. Exhale, bend the knee, roll open. This is our last standing sequence. Inhale, stretch the leg up and back. Exhale, bring the left foot forward between the hands, drop the right foot. It's gonna face the other way on my yoga mat. Inhale, rise all the way up into warrior two. Exhale here. Inhale, straighten the leg, left, left leg, lift the arms and look up. Exhale, sink back into warrior two. Inhale, lengthen, stretching up, look up. Exhale, sink back into warrior two. One more time, inhale, lifting up, straightening that left leg. Exhale, back into warrior two. Stay here, find your midline, right? Con contract to the midline and expand to the periphery here. As you exhale for extended side angle, either left forearm to the thigh or left palm to the floor. Inhale, reach the right arm overhead. Stay here, take a couple of breaths, just drawing in the lamevel, lengthening through that whole right side. As you exhale, just sweep that right arm back so it's reaching towards your right foot. Inhale, circle it overhead, draw length. Exhale, drawing in below navel, reaching arm back. Again, inhale, reaching overhead, lengthening, stay here, exhale. One more full lengthening breath in. And then exhale, it's right hand down, either into that low lunge twist or side plank balancing on the right hand. Any version of side plank, it could be something more challenging, it could be something a little bit more supportive. Take another full cycle of breath. One more full inhale. Good. And then exhale, either downward dog or chaturanga, up dog. And then down dog. Inhale and exhale. Let's all take a moment to rest in child's pose. So touch your knees down, sit back. So we've been flowing for about 45 minutes, we're gonna to start to cool it down. Breathing in child's pose, just sensing again intention, conveying that mindful, heartful message to yourself. From here, let's rise and into, come into seated. So as you come into seated, have your legs outstretched in front of you. Our first seated pose will be Dandasana. So you can reach your palms down to the floor and next to your hips or maybe a little bit behind you. And it's okay if your legs are not straight, but just hug the legs together broaden the collarbones and drop the chin to the chest. So just let this be a moment to explore the idea of, or the experience of steadiness and sweetness, really deeply grounding to the midline, that kind of refined quality of mindfulness, and then a sense of expansion to the periphery, that spacious and sweet experience as you breathe. Mm -hmm. Take one more exhale here in Dandasana. And then inhale, lift your head. We're gonna come into reverse plank. So you have three options. Either you keep your bottom on the ground and you just walk your hands back and expand your chest up, or you walk your feet in so that you can lift with your knees bent, or you lift up with your legs straight. Either one is just fine. Let's take about three full deep breaths here. And then exhale, 
lower down. Let's scoot our bottom towards our heels a little bit and then open the knees and bring the soles of the feet together for Baddha Konasana. Baddha Konasana, just start right here, just finding your seat. And then I really like to imagine, again, it's this kind of combined action of contraction and expansion. So pressing the feet together a little bit as you experience the thigh bones lengthening to the sides. And then you might find with ease a little bit of movement forward, either with a straight, long, or a neutral spine, or you might choose to really deeply round your back and draw in below the navel. So you decide. I might choose the rounded version here because we've done a lot of chest opening just in the last few moments. And then pressing your feet in wherever you are, just rise all the way back up. So let's bring the knees together, soles of the feet on the floor, walk the hands back and just tip your knees side to side a time or two. Just like windshield wipers, just mobilizing your hips and your back gently. Just taking that moment to check in. Right, really offer that mindful, heartful awareness. Okay, so we're going to do a seated twist. We'll take the left foot and bring it um, underneath the right hip and then slide the right foot in. We're going to turn towards the right leg. So just hugging the right knee, rotating the chest, looking over the right shoulder. Even here as much as possible, drawing in below the navel creating that internal support so that there can be some softness to the periphery, some opening here. One more exhale. Just turn your head forward as you inhale and then release the twist slowly as you exhale. So right foot down, left foot down. Same thing other side, right foot comes under the left hip, slide the left foot in and turn to the left. So you might choose to hug your left knee with your right. Look over your left shoulder. Again, still breathing with that subtle awareness of connecting to midline and expanding to the periphery. Just embodying this mindful, heartful intention. Let's take one more exhale. Inhale, just look forward. Exhale, go ahead and release. So we're going to roll forward and either come into child's pose for a moment or downward facing dog. Just for about three breaths, whichever pose you choose. And then we're going to touch our knees down and stand up onto the knees. So just two times we're going to come in and out of Ustrasana camel pose. So right here, you can start with your hands on your hips, just grounding into your legs, hugging the legs together in all the same actions. Pubic bone, tailbone, sitting bones knit together, draw in below the navel, rise through the collarbones. And then you might exhale, start to lean back, right? It could be any amount, just stay grounded. You might reach back for your heels, you might not. Full breath in and out here. Use your inhalation to come all the way up. And then exhale, let's just touch palms down. Maybe do a little cat-cow or side-to-side -side movement. And we're going to do that one more time. Okay, so rising back onto the knees. And again, you might just stand up on your knees and lift the collarbones and let that be it. Right, whatever feels possible to do with that intention at the forefront, to really be attentive and mindful of your experience, to really offer care and be, and be heartful, offer that heartful presence to yourself here. So going back any amount, breathing. Mm. 
Use your inhalation to rise out of it. And then exhale and slowly bring the palms down. You might choose downward dog, you might choose child's pose. Just take your time. Let's all rise and meet in seated for a moment. So I'm going to give us about a minute or so, maybe a little bit longer to take an inversion of your choice. So I'm going to show you a couple of simple options that you can do if you have a wall. If you don't have a wall and you want to do an inversion, you could certainly lie down um, and just lift your legs in the air. So the lying down, lifting legs in the air would be just like this. Just resting like this for a moment. You could do that same thing with your legs up on a wall or on a chair or a sofa. And stay there for a couple of minutes. You might choose, if you have a wall, to do a half handstand at the wall. So you basically come into downward dog at the wall, walk your feet up the wall, and breathe here. Okay, so just take a moment and maybe you just want to lie on your back and take a few recline stretches to wind down. Maybe there's something else that you want to do right now that I haven't mentioned. Okay, so just exploring for another minute or so. Breathing wherever you are. And as you're finishing up that little opportunity to experiment with an inverted posture, whatever it was, make sure you take a, a minute or so to do a counter pose, whether it's child's pose or maybe just lying down and hugging your knees in like I'm doing. Mm -hmm. Just taking a few spacious, sweet breaths. So once you find your way onto your back, kind of like um, how I am with knees coming in, you might decide it would feel good to take a reclined twist. You might just like to do some happy baby, kind of drawing the knees towards the armpits, let the feet come wide. Just taking a moment to ground into the floor to just do any last little releasing that would feel good. And then we're gonna move into our final relaxation into um, Shavasana. Okay. So take a moment, maybe there's some things you wanna to grab to help you, to support you in Shavasana, like a pillow or anything at all and just start to make your way in that direction. <sighs> 